Hogwarts Legacy locations, as we've discussed in other videos before this one, look absolutely fantastic. I mean, there's no way that you could scroll through the entire state of play trailer that we got a couple, you know, over a month ago and, and just look through that and not come away with like 30 screenshots that are all wallpaper worthy for your desktop home screen. I mean, the, the landscapes, the things that we're going to be doing, the combat sequences, everything is so picturesque and perfect it makes me feel like i'm in the wizarding world but there's one thing missing to make me reach a full-on wizarding freak out diagon alley now of course in the trailer we see ourselves being inside gringotts on the cart ride of doom which i can't wait for by the way and in our first encounter with ranrock we see him flanked by a goblin banker and a goblin security guard confirming that it is indeed inside Gringotts during that clip. I mean, based on another past video, you can look in the cards above. We know this can only be Gringotts because the only part of the wizarding world where goblins have full reign and full control is inside of Gringotts. So we can conclude that we're technically going to be in Diagon Alley, but what about the rest? What are we going to do about choosing our wand? Do we get sized for robes? Do we get our books? I mean, this is the part where I'd kind of like to speculate a little bit, but stick with me here. In one of the cuts from the trailer, we see ourselves being confronted by Rookwood outside a familiar shop in Diagon Alley. Yes, there is a Hogsmeade branch that was run by Garrick Ollivander's associates a while back, but this is just too good of an opportunity for you to miss out on. I mean, this is one of the most iconic scenes from the Harry Potter films when Harry gets his first wand. So it just feels like it would just be a cheapened experience if we, as the main character, don't get to experience the same thing. Where are we gonna get our books? I mean, we know from the trailers that our books are just hanging on outside of that car as we fly into Hogwarts, outside the, you know, the, the pilotless cart there. But much like Ollivander's, there's only one place that we can ever see recorded that people go to get their books. It's not in Hogsmeade, it is in Diagon Alley. That place is called Flourish and Blots. So that's the only store that carries the books that are there for the required learning for Hogwarts students. And it's only in Diagon Alley. I can hear you fact checking me right now. So please go right ahead, and yell at me in the comments. Your screams sustain me. Seriously though, between the fact that we see Ranrock in Go uh, Gringotts, his villainous pal Rookwood just hanging outside of Ollivander's, and the simple fact that Diagon Alley is the perfect way to introduce our main character to the wizarding world, I can't imagine that we don't get to see Diagon Alley. I mean, again, we haven't seen it specifically, but think about Harry's own experience. Every time I think about Diagon Alley, I think about in the first film in Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone that he is walking down that main street, the main dragon Diagon Alley, just looking around. And even in the book itself, this is my favorite part of the whole series. He just says he wishes he had eight more eyes to just take everything in. There's just so much there to see and so much there to do that I can't possibly see them avoiding this historic location, especially one that's so important to us as witches and wizards. We have to go there to get our stuff. It's just that simple. Now, if I was on the marketing team, I'm not, but if I was, I would do exactly what they did with those trailers, drop a few hints here and there. So nerds like me who are going to know life this game when it comes out will replay this trailer over and over and over looking for new details until I finally find something like this. Because in my opinion, there's just no way around having us experience Diagon Alley. I mean, the nostalgia and the pull towards the location is just too strong. It's where everything begins in almost every book that we have. And it's just such a cool freaking location that they can't possibly leave this out and call it a Hogwarts game or a Harry Potter game. There's just no way. I, I can't think of a better way to start Hogwarts Legacy than to drop us into a place we're going to lose our minds over as soon as we get there from the very beginning of the game so let me know what you guys think down below if this is bs or if this is valid you guys think that my thoughts are you know on on track here or what your thoughts are if we're not going to get Diagon Alley, then what, what are we going to do how are we going to get our wand who freaking knows all right so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below please feel free to engage with me i'll respond to most of them unless you're a troll um and i love you guys and thanks for all the hanging out and stuff i'll talk to you next time bye